Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 28. Today I will deploy the new code version. Let's start the Ubuntu server. I start it headless. Good. I will log in into my server. It is SSH, my username, add the IP number of the server. I write my password. I am logged in, I clear the terminal. I will go to the home folder. Here I go inside Node.js server. I go inside backend application, this one. List the content. And here I have only the backups folder. The application folder is missing. Jenkins deleted it. I will show you. Login into Jenkins. Open the pipeline. Open the logs. Scroll to the end. Scroll up a bit. And here is the stage. Delete running application. And it deleted the application. No JS backend. Before deploying the new code, I want to specify the Node.js server user in pipeline configuration. Open the repository, it is Node.js backend. Find the folder CICD, pipeline config and the file pipeline config YAML. Here in the application, create a new variable OS user name colon it will be node.js-server It is the username, you can see it in the terminal It is this one, node.js server Create a similar variable for the group name OS group name Save Check git changes I added two variables, very good, close the changes, add the file to the stage and write the commit message, edit os user to pipeline config.yaml new line deploy new code version commit and push It was pushed. Once I have the configuration, I will create the new stage in the Jenkins file. Open pipeline repository, open deploy app Jenkins file, scroll down to the end, and here after the delete current version, create a new stage. I will copy this thing, close the brackets, Good, and the stage will be deploy new code version. That is the stage. Set the timeout to 10 minutes. In the script block, get the variables. The first one is final map application config map. I have it above in the previous stage. Copy it, paste it, equals. Copy this thing, past it. So this thing, application, it gets these variables, the map. Back to the pipeline, get the application path. I will just copy it from the previous stage, past it here. It is the application path I'm going to get. And also create another variable to get the deployment folder path. Just scroll up in the archive new code. I have here the deployment folder path. Copy this line. Scroll up to the new stage and past it. I have the variables. Now I'm going to move the application code. Move application code. It is sh for the shell, script, and label. 
In the label I write deploy new application code perfect and in the script I write mv for move as the source I take the deployment folder path copy past space and as target I passed the application path good it will require sudo so I write sudo nice and I'm going to use the OS username I created it here so it's time to use it write the command change application files owner write final string os username equals application config map and in square brackets i copy this variable os username and pass it i will do the same operation for the group name os group name copy the variable name past it good create the shell script label in the label i write change application files owner and a script i write sudo ch own change owner dash dash recursive I want the command chown to enter every folders and change the owner there. I write the username, the new username, it should be os username, colon, and the new user group, it is os group name. Space and past here the target folder, it is application path. The command is ready, it is this one. I want to add two debug logs. I write sh lsla application path. Also, I write the command to do remove after debug. Good. Check git changes. Here I created a new stage, it looks good. Let's commit it. Write the message, create it, open double quotes, copy the stage name, past it, space stage, new line, deploy, new code version. Very good, commit and push push. It was pushed. I'm going to run the pipeline. First, I will open my file explorer. I want to show you the files from the user interface. I write sftp colon slash slash my username at the IP number colon port number slash home enter I logged in into my server, I go to Node.js server folder, backend application, and the application folder is missing. You can see it in the terminal, it is the path, application folder is missing. Go to Jenkins. Let's start the pipeline. First, I will show you the server is offline. Yes, it's not working. Build with parameters branch name main build let's wait and the new code was deployed i will open my file explorer to see if the code was deployed refresh and indeed it was deployed i have the node modules i have the source folder i have package log and package json I will also show you it 
in the terminal ll and here is the folder node.js backend and in the logs I want to show you how Jenkins changed the owner. Refresh the page, click the circle to open the logs, scroll down to the end Here Jenkins entered the deployed new code version stage, it set the timeout for 10 minutes, it moved the application from the workspace to the backend application, it listed the content of Node.js backend and here very important, this thing dot, it tells the information about the folder Node.js backend. And I can see here the owner is Jenkins user and Jenkins group and also the owner of all the subfolders and files is Jenkins user and Jenkins group. Jenkins changed the owner, it set it to Node.js server and here is the path. And now the owner is Node.js server, Node.js server and Node.js server. I will show you it from the file explorer. Scroll right a bit and you see here the owner is Node.js server, user group is Node.js server. I move back one folder and the owner of Node.js backend is also Node.js server and Node.js server group. That is all. I want to remove the debug logs. Remove the debug log. Remove the debug log. Check git changes. I removed the debug logs. Apply. Apply. Write the commit message. Removed debug logs new line deploy new code version commit and push good it's pushed open the diagram select the stage make it white now Jenkins can deploy the new code version thank you for watching